For all your reclaimed pine and hardwoods, call David at Reclaimed Timber Liverpool or check out his Facebook page, Reclaimed Timber Liverpool. Also delivery available within 50 mile radius of Bickerstaff. So call David on 07 341 773 555. That's David at 07 341 773 555. Hello my friends, thank you for joining me today. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a squirrel saw video. Uh, as you know, last week's video I was having one or two problems with the scroll saw. Uh, I completely stripped it all down. Uh, cleaned all the bearings in it and give them a light greasing again. <clears throat> and uh, the problem of the knocking and the banging and the squeaking seems to have gone. I'm still getting a slight vibration on the machine, but it's workable for now, so we're going to be doing a scroll saw project. The project I'm doing today is a little vase. It's the, uh, I got this design off the Steve Good website, I'll put a link for his uh, blog post on the description down below. But it's going to be a little vase with some flowers on. It's only a small design. As you can see there's some little small lines in it and but I've got a piece of scrap oak for the front and the back and I've got an inch thick piece of pine for the middle. But uh, <clears throat> I noticed one or two people leaving me comments about doing uh, a video on like, the process of scroll sawing. So if you'd like to see me doing a video from start to finish I I would put the designs on the wood and how to prepare it blah 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 you know things like that uh, then leave me a comment down below and we'll see if I can put a video together if you want to see that but uh, I'm just gonna crack on with this video now uh, we put in high speed and etc you know the usual jazzle and all that well, I'm just going to crack on.
Right, I've got all my pieces cut out now. I've not gone exactly onto the line because I'm going to... I'll leave the front one as it is and I'm going to put it all and glue it all together. I'm going to sand it back to that line. So I'm not going to take that piece of paper off because that's got my, my line on there. But as for that, the inner ring, I'm just going to give that a light sanding on the inside because you're not going to see that from inside anyway. And then this is the back piece which I'm going to take the paper off and glue it all together. Uh, I'm not going to film gluing it because you know it's only putting a bit of glue on and putting some clamps on so the next part you're going to see now is putting it on the disc sander and making it all nice. And then uh, this oak piece I actually sanded it to 120 grit on the front and the back surface before I actually put it all together. So on the back of that one what's been cut out it just needs a very light sanding now on the back just to get rid of those little burrs on the back and then uh, I'm going to put some finish on it right we got it all glued up together now I've left the front pattern on because it's got the the outline of the line of where you have to go up to to sand it down so I've left the front one on so if you do one of these make sure you leave the the front pattern on to know where you're sanding to I've left the little top bits a little bit long, I'm going to sand them back out. I just put a new uh, sanding disc on the disc sander, uh, 120 grit, so let's crack on and let's get on with it. Right, as you can see there, I've just rounded the edges off, I've just broke the edges, that's all. Just so it's not as as sharp on your hands. I've got some uh, methylated spirits, and I'm just going to give it a quick wiping down there to get all the traces of dust off it. And then, uh, we're going to put some linseed oil on it.
Right then. That's all finished now. I think you'll agree that the grain in that, I don't know if you can pick it up properly on camera or not, is absolutely beautiful. Let me say it's just some scrap oak flooring and a piece of scrap pine. What, uh, what it's made out of. It turned out rather nice. Like I said, I just rounded the edges over slightly with a, a bit of sandpaper on the front and the back and just along the top edge there. And uh, it's all finished. I'll give it two coats of, uh, what's it called? Linseed oil. Uh, let it dry about three hours between coats, wiped it off, and then give it another coat. I think I'm going to put a, a clear wax just for protected even more over the top of it. But uh, I was going to do another design as well and include it in this video, but I didn't get to get around to doing it because my planar thickness has been playing up. I've had to completely strip all that down as well, and it's still not right. It's not actually feeding the wood through. If you put a piece of pine in there, it does seem to feed it through, but not properly. If you put a piece of hardwood in there, it just laughs at it, it doesn't even bother going through it. Uh, so, I don't know what's going to be happening with that. But uh, that's the other design I was going to do. It's a smaller pot than the last one. Uh, but as you can see, it's slightly taller, but thinner as well. But uh, if I get around to doing that, uh, I'll put pictures of that one on. Uh, I'll put a bit of pictures on my Instagram and on my Facebook page as well. So you'll probably end up seeing it this week sometime or next week because it'll be Friday now. So, but uh, yeah, that design's off the Steve Good website. I'll leave links to his blog post where you can get the designs from on there. Um, check out Reclaimed Timber Liverpool. The adverts at the beginning of the video. And uh, we'll see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Click the bell icon in the corner, that will alert you to the next time I put a video up, which hopefully will be next Friday again. And I think that's everything for today. Oh, and I also got my first Patreon as well. Thank you to that person. I don't know if you want your name be mentioned on this video, but thank you to you as well. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you for joining me. Have a good week.